Louise is the daughter of Richard Leakey, uh, who is the son of Louis Leakey. Louis Leakey's the fellow uh, who kind of gave Jane Goodall and, and some of the others their start. It's a, it's a family that is in Kenya that has really spent the, you know, it's kind of a dynasty of a family if you, uh, in, 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 these, in these days, where they go and, and, and dig up a lot of fossils, in effect. They, they lead these out to the Lothigan Valley and, and they'll find these very, very old, million-year-old fossils of, you know, hominids and, and fauna, and, and and they're just preserved there in the in the Africa. And so they, um, Louise was uh, again uh, another sort of TED connection. Was talking and, and she was saying she has about ten thousand of these fossils that you know they and, and that are all in the, the National Museum in, in Kenya. Um, Nobody can really see them. If anybody wants to study these things, you can. You know, you, they apply for a grant. They go to Kenya and they set up shop. And you know, you have to. It's kind of a clean room type of. You know, very fragile and old. Um, or you can look at them in pictures. Uh, you know, essentially two dimensional pictures. And Louise had this vision of wanting to create a three D museum, and that was about as far as you know she had developed. You know, I want to get this stuff out. So, People can see these things on an iPad, and I thought, well, this, this is this is, I think, doable, uh, because Autodesk in Autodesk Labs, where I was, had a new product that was then called PhotoFly. It's now been released as called One Two Three D Catch, where you can essentially take pictures of an object and it stitches together, and you can kind of shave out the, the backdrop and use it in a uh, to actually it's a true real sized. Uh, image. So down to, with, with these tools that are built for here, but because they can be used in other applications, uh, you can get these things down to almost like three microns of, of detail. So if you're a researcher and you want to sort of see how, um, you know, eyeballs have, in a skull have moved, you know, as brains got bigger over the course of a million years, you can actually measure these things from simply these photographs and the object files that, that came out. And so I think Louise, when we began to talk this through, what would this look like, it really was, let's kind of put a collection of these things up and make them available to the world and you know, kind of see what happens from there. 